What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today we got Soy Saunders. Soy Saunders getting all, all the interviews from Star Wars Celebration because he's got some press passes. How does someone with 3,700 subs get press passes, but geeks and gamers didn't get press passes? How does that happen? Well, I'll tell you a little story. Uh, not really. It's not really a story. It's just a, a fact. If you kiss up to Lucasfilm and tell them The Last Jedi is the greatest film ever made in the history of the world, you will get press passes. And if you don't ask really, really tough questions, you will get press passes. Now, to Steel's credit, even though, even though he does kiss up to Lucasfilm, he's actually given us some gold from his Star Wars Celebration coverage. First, he showed us that Daisy Ridley hates Raylo. Thank you for that, Steel. And now, uh, just to be clear, I don't like Steel Saunders. So, Steel, if you're watching this, I don't like you. I don't like anything about you. I think you are a phony. I think you are a fake male feminist. I think you are soy. I don't like anything about you. And I almost confronted you at Star Wars Celebration, but you were in line for food, and I respect people's personal space. So I felt that was an inappropriate time to walk up and shake your hand and ask you, why did you go after Jesse Milestone of Geeks and Gamers? But another time and another place, my friend. But here, I will give him credit for asking Kathleen Kennedy about this. Now, Kathleen Kennedy does nothing but throws Nike under the bus, because why is Kathleen Kennedy going to be responsible for anything she has ever done? She's never been responsible before. Bob Iger went out and took the blame for everything that was going on with Star Wars just a few months ago, because Kathleen Kennedy's not going to take responsibility. But let's listen to what Steele says, and then we'll talk about it. Nice. Now, can I ask you a question that's a little bit off the grid? Mm. The um, years ago, you were at a charity event wearing the, like the Nike um, yeah. Forces female T-shirt, and, oh, yeah. and a lot's been made like like if misinterpreted. But I, I just want to like, do you want to like sort of talk about like sort of just set the record straight of like what that T-shirt sort of meant and the Forces female. I didn't know it was controversial. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, p people were very upset about that you were wearing a Nike T-shirt that that said that, and maybe that's like if it's really? well, why is it female? But like, I think it's a cool. T you guys look like you're having oh, a great time. I think you know that it it was something that Nike created. I didn't create that T-shirt. I thought it was just kind of fun. My my girl. So uh, so so. If you don't create a t-shirt, but you choose to wear it, and you choose to promote it, and you choose to take pictures with it in a public setting at a press event, you're not responsible for what's on the shirt? Is, is that what Kathleen Kennedy is trying to sell us right now? Well, because I didn't create the shirt, I'm not responsible for the shirt. That was a Nike shirt. Is this woman serious right now? Let's play that again. Because she didn't create it, guys, so she's not responsible for it. I think, you know, that it, it was something that Nike created. I didn't create that T-shirt. I thought it was just kind of fun. My, my girls go to an all-girls school, and the entire school was wearing those T-shirts, and they were having so much fun. And I think the amazing thing about the Force is the Force is in all of us. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that it's just female. It's not that it's just male. It's, it's the Force. And whether or not somebody can claim it as their own, I think that that's ubiquitous. Yeah. So I, I didn't I didn't realize it was actually controversial. Are you implying that the force might be my cat as well? It might be your cat. Excellent. Yes. Thanks so much for Have answering you that. that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. <sighs> Seriously. So this is Kathleen Kennedy not taking any responsibility for her stupidity as the president of Lucasfilm showing up at a charity event wearing a shirt that says the force is female. Now again, do I mind, and I've, I've addressed this uh, dozens of times, do I mind that anybody's wearing a shirt that says force is female in isolation? No. But we all know that if a man affiliated with Lucasfilm wore a shirt that said the force is male, they would all lose their minds. He would probably lose his job and he would probably never work in Hollywood again because there's such a double standard. So because of the standard that these nut jobs have created, what Kathleen Kennedy did was unacceptable. But it's okay because she was respecting the whammon and you can respect the whammon. So just like we've experienced with Kathleen Kennedy as her time as the leader of Lucasfilm, when something is wrong, she will not claim responsibility. She will only take responsibility when things are good. 
That is the exact opposite of what a leader does. When things are good, your team, your crew, the company gets the credit. When things are bad, you take ownership of that because that is what a leader does. But that's not what she does. She throws Nike under the bus. She plays stupid like she doesn't even know it's a controversy, controversial thing. They have people dedicated to social media reactions and internet blogs and YouTube channels and what people are saying about uh, their company. And she's going to act like she's never heard that before. Again, one of two things is going on there. Either she's a liar or she's stupid. Both of those are options, but if you as the leader of Lucasfilm for something that has been so incredibly controversial on your watch, something you did, something that so many fans felt was out of line, if you don't even know about that, that just speaks to your incompetence. So you're either lying or you're dumb. Neither one of those answers are good, but both of them are applicable for you, Kathleen Kennedy. So she throws Nike under the bus. So I guess the lesson we've learned here is if you purchase a shirt and if you put it on, no matter what that shirt says, you're not responsible for anything it says. The person that created it is responsible, not the person wearing it, not the person endorsing it, not the person posting pictures of it at a charity event. You're not responsible. Thank you, Kathleen Kennedy, for continuing to show us how terrible of a leader you really are. And thank you, Steel Saunders, for giving us more gold. Steel Saunders, you have done a really bad job of helping the case of Lucasfilm. You're doing a great job of giving us gold. So continue doing that, my friend. Continue doing that. All right, guys. So that's it. Have a great day. And, uh... Kathleen Kennedy just continues to show how bad she is, and I, I, I truly don't believe it. I don't believe it. So I can't wait for the next upload from Steel Wars because Steel Wars is giving us some great, some great coverage, and we appreciate that. And I will, just for good measure, just because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a okay guy, I guess, not really, but I'm going to leave a link to Steel Wars channel because he needs all the help he can get. Oh, clearly not. He's going to get press credentials regardless because it doesn't matter what type of reach you have. It only matters if you're willing to push forward the talking points of Lucasfilm. All right, guys. Have a great day. Talk to you later.